Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. It is springtime here in Central Florida and I am bringing out some of my spring and summer decor because you know spring and summer just kind of run together here in Florida. So I'm really excited to show that to you today but today it's only going to be the dining room. I'll show you the rest of the house as I get to it and and decorate those portions of the home so today it's going to be the dining room my hutch back here and my corner hutch and uh, the table too so i don't go all wild on easter and the bunnies although i do have a few bunnies out here i try more to incorporate some of the vintage items that i have into my decor and switch those out from what I had for um, Christmas time or the winter time, okay? So let's get to it and I'll show you what I have. Okay, so here is our dining room. Let me just give you a quick overview. I apologize for the back lighting there of the blinds, but this is what we have to work with and there are a few projects going on here um, or in the process or that i'm going to start okay so i'll go over those as i um, get to them but let's start over here this gallery wall here has all thrifted items on it and one of the things that i love is english farmhouse looks or countryside looks and i love also gold frames and that's kind of what i have here on this gallery wall and i've had um, i i hate to say i've had the same setup for a while now i just love all these pieces and if i find something new i will uh, add to it but these pieces have been with me for quite a while and um you know i may even paint this one gold you know because kind of now that i'm looking at it again it kind of stands out um I do have a lot of plants. If you're not following me already on my plant channel, I'll leave a link that down below where I talk about plants only. But this channel is about decor. This corner hutch here, I got at a uh, antique shop. And I'll show you a picture of the original color. I just painted it uh, last summer, this white and gray here, because it was a very dingy, yellow and green and I added also these brand new uh, knobs to it and um, the knobs actually uh, were or the back plate were black I painted them the same gray using chalk paint and but everything in here is vintage or thrifted as you can see, I love, love milk glass. And um, I have quite a collection of it, always looking for new milk glass pieces to add to it. But I have a few Pioneer Woman pieces there with the teapot and the utensil holder there. Um, those I got at thrift stores. And then for spring and Easter, I just added this little bunny here that I got on clearance actually at uh, Hobby Lobby a couple of years back, maybe three years now. But everything else is pretty much thrift store or antique store. Even the basket, that is a picnic basket up there. Um, I found that at a thrift store. So yeah anything I can find but I love this little corner hutch now this table here was my parents they gave it to my daughter and son-in-law whom I live with so it is actually an antique I man this is probably the first dining room set that my parents bought it had to have been 40 50 years ago and um, I am going to be doing a huge project on this uh, uh, dining room set. I plan on refinishing the top, sanding it down, and restaining it, painting the chairs white, 
and the legs white. I've already changed out the cushions to this gray and white pattern here. And it's basically just covers that I purchased on uh, Amazon. And I'll leave a, the link to those below. But the painting and sanding project is the is a major one that I'm going to be doing. I would there is one chair that I need to fix the rattan portion of the back uh, of it, but that's another project. Now this here was my daughter's. Um, I have not found a table runner that I like for spring, but I figured that this one would do just fine. And the tray here is from Cole's Clearance, but the little uh, bird house here, the bird cage here, I got at Hobby Lobby years ago. Yes, along with this little bunny here and the little bird there from Hobby Lobby. And this bird cage here is always here. I basically just change out for the season what's in the bird cage. So it could be a little bottle brush tree for Christmas, some pumpkins for um, Thanksgiving, you know, and the bird right now for spring. Uh, for summer, I may I have another bird that I can put in there. So I keep it simple here because we do use this to eat um, our dinners at and so it needs to be something that I can easily move and um, not be in the way. So, But I, I do love this little arrangement here. Now this um, armoire here is one that I got at um, Merchant Square in Chandler, Arizona. When I lived there and it is very old <laughs> very rickety but I love it it's um, was refinished and these appliques were added um, I think they're decoupaged on and I believe she also changed out the little handles here but let me just open it up here this is where I have the majority of my collectibles um, from my milk glass to vintage dishes to my love of vintage teacups, although I'm a coffee drinker, but every now and then I do enjoy a good cup of tea. So I will pick and choose from here because I have all sorts like, for instance, back there, um, I have my fall ones that I bring out. And then I have some that are more Christmassy like, and then some that are very spring like. So I will pick and choose. That one comes out at uh, Christmas time because it's red. And you know, I basically just select my decor from here. I do use a lot of my milk glass throughout my home, in my bedroom, in my bathroom to hold my makeup brushes, to hold my toothbrush, um, everything. So it's not just um, for collecting and displaying. I do use them for everyday life also. I also have a very small collection of salt and pepper shakers and I'm always on the lookout for cute and unusual salt and pepper shakers. See? So look at this little shoe. Isn't that adorable? So this is really what I have <laughs> down here storage of other things that I will bring out like that red one there that actually came from Iran somebody that uh, I used to work with was Iranian he went back for a trip and he brought me back a whole tea set but other things I picked up along the way these linens and everything are from thrift stores some of them um, were gifted to me by friends that have made them and such so this armoire here is great Watch out, Georgie, is great for storage also, not just it looks good. Now on top, I always switch out what's up here. Right now I have this basket that I actually got at Dollar General with a little tiny table runner that I thrifted and some other 
um, pictures there that I will move around depending upon the season. And I also love to thrift uh, vintage frames. These I got at a thrift store. I was very happy to see that I, they had two because I put each of my children's wedding pictures in here. This is my son and his beautiful wife. My son is my oldest child. He lives in Phoenix. And my daughter and her husband, and whom I live with, the three of us live together. But again, the gold frames fit my decor here, of uh, touches of gold that I love. So that was perfect. Another gold frame that I have, this one, I actually, it looks vintage, but I actually purchased this at Hobby Lobby on clearance. And when my daughter is getting married, she had gold accents in her wedding. And we used that for something, some kind of sign or something. And then when it was done, I put, this is actually an artwork that I did. It's a journal page that I did of a uh, vase with some flowers in it. And I just put it in this frame. And I'll show you in, in upcoming videos some of the artwork that I've done that I have scattered throughout the home. But I also love to collect um, vintage uh, trays also. These are English trays that I forget that I love to collect. I have some more up there. Those are from the same company, and I love to collect those along with different things from Hobby Lobby. But I'm not doing the kitchen. I'm just giving you a little, <laughs> a little peek into the kitchen. I just wanted to share with you my uh, dining room and what I've done so far for just a little bit, nothing major, to update it for spring. Well, there you have it, friends. That is my very brief tour of my dining room and the spring slash summer updates I've done to it, okay? I will be giving you updates on, I think, my entryway next. That's where I'm going to be updating things. And then probably the kitchen also at the same time, okay? As I get to it, I'll film it and uh, share that with you. But thanks so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, friends, please do give it a thumbs up. I'll leave you links down below to other videos and my plant channel also. And also make sure that you subscribe to this channel, this new channel of mine. And I will be updating on here at least a couple times a week so you can see how I'm decorating my home. I'm going to be doing a lot of shop with me um, i love thrifting i love antiquing and i'll be doing some diys also different projects not only this table project but uh some other paint projects that i've got coming up also so you can look forward to that thanks so much friends i'll see you in the next video have a blessed day bye bye now